Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading for the month of August of 2022. Please keep in mind, Libra, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as this is not going to resonate for everyone. Yes, um, and also keep in mind, Libra, that this is a timeless reading. Yeah, this does not have to resonate for you at any specific moment. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you at that time. So technically, this is a reading for you, Libra, from the month of August 2022 and beyond. Yeah. And like I said, this is a general reading. Um, if you would like to get more of your own energies into the situation get some more guidances guidance for you in these readings and these videos then definitely get engaged with the channel smash that like button for me leave me a comment in the comment section down below that's really effective um you know subscribe and definitely leaving a comment absolutely helps me to connect with your energy regardless as to whether what what picture you have or what your name is on your profile here uh, leaving a comment leaves an energetic stamp on the reading and so that helps me to pick up on your energies and connect with you so if you're looking for more readings or more um messages for yourself in these general readings definitely get in engaged with the channel but also go ahead and get yourself a private reading that of course is the best way to do something specific to you i do offer those private readings if you check the description box down below you will find the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up, okay? Oh, Spirit just told me to take these. That just dropped. What's going on here? Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Of course, the Ten of Swords is reversed, but that's just because of the way that I'm shuffling the cards here. The Hierophant, the Four of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. This is such a similar energy. I mean, I just did Virgo's reading. You guys are right next to each other, so you could be a Virgo Libra Cusper, okay? Doesn't really matter. You could be a Libra in Tropical Astrology or a Virgo in Sidereal, True Sidereal Astrology, which is what I officially practice here on this channel, True Sidereal Astrology. Um, it seems, Libra, that uh, something needs to come to an end for you here. Like, I do recognize that this Ten of Swords is reversed. This whole side of the deck is reversed. So just see that, just so you know that. It's just because of the way that I was shuffling the cards, but I'm going to take it as it came out here. Um... A never-ending cycle is what I'm hearing with this Ten of Swords reversed. Um, there is something about a commitment, the Hierophant, or a lifestyle, a way of being, some sort of collective consciousness, some sort of social, uh, maybe an institution. I'm definitely feeling a commitment that you have made. This might be a marriage um, or just a long-term romantic relationship. Uh, what Okay, so what Spirit is saying for this Hierophant energy is technically it represents the status quo. Whatever, however that would resonate for you. Whatever ha in your life, whatever situation or circumstance in your life that could be designated as the status quo for you. Okay, that's what the Hierophant is representing here. Four of Wands. It's very similar to what Virgo had in terms of the Four of Wands. There's something that is solid here, sure, but there's fear surrounding it, uh, Libra. Nine of Swords. Hmm. I'm hearing liberation again. But what I'm getting for you, Libra, is this is definitely playing on your... Sometimes your inability to make a decision, to be decisive. Um, what it does feel like here is that there are definitely people around you and their realities or the reality associated with this situation that it does involve other people could be what is holding you back from really choosing or making a decision to clear up whatever is causing some sort of fear or anxiety for you but the main the main thing here is this seven of pentacles it's like you're needing to, you're being asked to decide for yourself if this is really something that you want to be a part of any longer like literally i'm when i when i look at the seven of pentacles libra i'm getting the question of is this really what i want is this what i intend to have uh, a harvest uh, is this is this the harvestables that i'm intending to receive the, uh, whatever this is for you libra again this is a general reading so take it as it resonates but the seven of pentacles here is the big question is this really what i want or is this really what i have intended to or set out to receive interesting we're going to get into the rest of that all right um i'm going to give this two more shuffles though 
All right, two more shuffles here for Libra. And then we'll get into the specifics of your reading, yeah? That's one. Coffee. <laughs> okay, that's one. And this is two. Ooh, nope, let's try that again. This is two. Something's catching you up, Libra. Some, there's a snag here. Something's tripping you up. What's going on for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. For this message, please, Spirit. What's going on for Libra? What guidance can we bring to Libra at this time? First card is the Four of Swords. And I hear, get very clear and honest with yourself. You've got to clear your mind. You've got to clear the cutter. You've got clutter. You've got to clear all the interjections. You've got to clear all the outside ways of thinking or the external voices and just listen to the truth within yourself. Four of Swords. What's going on for Libra? The tower, Virgo got the tower too, albeit in a clarification, but they still got the, Vir the tower. All right, anything else? What's going on for Libra here? We have the magician to the seven of wands. Whoa. All right, Libra, there is definitely a need for boundaries here. There is a need to assert yourself also. Uh, and then some of that need to assert yourself is coming from this lack of ability to make a decision or this indecisiveness you seem to have been flowing in. And what I'm getting basically for you, Libra, is that you have a right to manifest or go after whatever it is that you want personally that is right for you. And that's what I'm getting here with the Magician and the Seven of Wands. I mean, okay, so ultimately the storyline is Four of Swords, clear your mind. Clear out the clutter, okay? Something's about to change. This tower energy feels like a level of communication. I feel like there's something that you need to say. Something needs to be stated. Whether it is between you and someone else, another person, or whether it's between you and a bunch of other people, a group or a community of people, a collective of people, or whether this is just between yourself and the universe. Something needs to be stated. Something needs to be declared here with the tower. And it has everything to do, or at least it's right in alignment with what it is you truly need to or want to be or desire to be manifesting. And you need to keep your defenses up. I mean, don't be super defensive. Don't be like overly, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. But just have keep, keep your boundaries up. You know, the Seven of Wands is telling me, it's giving me this energy of, again, like I've been saying for many in the collective this month, your right to choose. Standing up for yourself, standing your ground is really what I'm getting with that Seven of Wands energy. Overall energy is the High Priestess. Funny, very funny, Libra, um, because I was seeing High Priestess energy for Virgo. Of course, the High Priestess did not come out for Virgo, but that's okay. Um, I was also picking up on... Um, Ooh, the moon. I was also picking up on Hierophant energies. That did not come out for Virgo, but it did. Both of these have come out for you. And so I'm picking up on, it's very similar. Uh, but you have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck and then the, the deck split to show the moon. There is a higher awareness that is that you are tapping into at this time. A higher, there's an inspiration that's coming from some sense of higher awareness, and it is definitely involved with your intuition, the moon. But it's coming through as the moon because there is, seems to be some sort of lack of clarity. There's some sort of nebulousness to it, not easily defined, not easily to be understandable. There is a level here. I'm kind of getting star energies for you. Um, like the, the energy of the star, which is faith or needing to have faith or moving forward with faith, trusting the universe to lead you in the right direction, even though you're, you're not necessarily sure or sure of or aware of where it is you're going or maybe how it is you're going to get there or how long it's going to take you to get there. That's where the faith comes in. But it's not actually the star. It's actually the moon. So there is some sort of fear involved with this potentially, but there's also... Part of the reason why I feel like it's difficult for you to make a decision right now and to stand your ground, Seven of Wands, in terms of what it is you truly want to be manifesting, the magician, there's some sort of fear surrounding it because you don't quite understand why or how this is going to happen or what's going to make it work or even if, the big thing here is, even if you should really be able to trust this, to trust this guidance or this push that you're getting from higher self, higher awareness type energies. You don't know if you can trust it. Interesting. 
What's under the moon? Strength. Oh, your ego may be holding you back here. Definitely. Oh, but then to the high, to the, to the higher, not the higher font, the hermit. Mm, okay. Where do we want to start, spirit? Four of Swords. All right. Let's look at the Four of Swords. And to be honest with you, Libra, I would not be surprised if the Five of Wands came out here, but let's see. Clarify the Four of Swords, please, spirit, for Libra. Okay, first card out is actually the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Clarify the Four of Swords for Libra, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Wheel of Fortune... Two of Cups. Overall energy is the Page of Pentacles. This could have to do with a relationship. I was kind of picking up on that. Some sort of romantic bond or um, maybe like a, a romantic or um, emotional connection. Wheel of Fortune to the Two of Cups to Page of Pentacles. I want to get more. Clarify more, please, Spirit. Four of Swords for Libra. Ace of Pentacles, but it is reversed. Why do I feel like someone doesn't want to be in a relationship any longer than the sun? To the Empress. Okay. Oh, and then we're back to the High Priestess again. All right. So the Empress is representing, well, the sun and the Empress are representing beneficial and positive energies. Okay. Beneficial, positive, um, high vibe um abundant energies unconditionally loving energies i'm getting from the her of i'm sorry from the empress here that you literally could create anything you want you can have anything you want maybe this is not maybe this does have to do with a relationship but it's not about not being in a relationship it's about lacking a certain relationship there seems to be a cycle that's going on here with the Wheel of Fortune to the Two of Cups. Okay, Ace of Pentacles is giving me a feeling of not making an offer. Not giving something, not creating some sort of commitment or substantial circumstance that can be built up on. It could also represent not wanting to make this offer. Very interesting, Libra. Very interesting. See, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm in this energy right now, Libra, of like, I'm not quite sure what this is talking about. What does this mean for you? Because I'm getting, it could be so many different things that it's hard for me to really solidify what this is for you right now. I want to move forward with more confirmation first. Yeah, let's do that. I want to clarify the tower. What's the tower then? Because I feel like the tower here is very much associated with this. Hold on. Four of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles reversed here. This does have some sort of love connotation to it. I feel like somebody here might want to make an offer to someone or may want to be able to start a relationship, but they don't feel that they can. That could be what this cycle is, the Wheel of Fortune. And what this is saying here with the Sun and the Empress is that Abund there's abundance. There's, the, the, the universe is abundant. The universe is unconditionally loving. So like you could, you could find what it is you're looking for. You could find whatever it is you seek. You can create what it is you want. You can have what it is that you want. But I feel like someone here maybe doesn't believe that they can. Hmm. Okay. What's the tower, spirit, for Libra? What's the tower? The lovers. I keep hearing your right to choose, Libra, and here it is, the lovers. God, your God-given right towards free will. Okay, clarify the tower, please. The two of swords, very similar to Virgo. Oh, shit. All right, and then you have the seven of pentacles are reversed. Libra, Virgo got the Seven of Pentacles reversed as well. Of course, you got the Seven of Pentacles coming out in your pre-shuffle energies in the beginning of the reading. With that, you have the Hermit again, the High Priestess again, and now the Queen of Pentacles. And then the, oh, oh my God, Libra, your right to choose. And then you have the Two of Wands. This is so similar to the Virgo reading. 
it's crazy how these are aligning this way. I mean, I understand you guys are on the cusp of each other, but like this has been consistent <laughs> throughout all the signs so far. So this is a, this is a, there's a big, there's a big collective liberation that's happening and it's all within your right to choose. And Libra, you are getting caught up. You're being snagged in the, in a very similar, if not completely same way that Virgo is. And it's so crazy because the cards that I was saying I would rec I would see coming out for Virgo didn't come out for Virgo. They're actually coming out for, for you, Libra. <laughs> That's kind of funny. You might have a Virgo and a Libra placement. Again, you might be a Libra in tropical astrology, or but a Virgo in true sidereal astrology. Take it as it resonates. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. If you're resonating with this reading, then the message is for you. But what am I getting here? Same as Virgo, the tower, something drastic needs to change. But what I was feeling for you, Libra, in terms of this tower energy is something needs to be declared. And whatever it needs to be declared, Libra, it is very much in alignment with your sense of self-worth or what it is you have to bring to the table. The queen of pentacles. And it seems that there is some sort of higher awareness, higher guidance, the empress, that is trying to get you into alignment with who it is you truly are and or what it is you truly want, the hermit. But see, in terms of the the, 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 the decision that you need to make in alignment with this sense of liberation, it seems that you are, just like Virgo, in denial of it. Virgo got the same exact thing, the lovers to the two of swords. Spirit is coming through or your higher self is coming through. That angel above the two of them right there is that higher awareness, that higher self or whatever. That's coming through, giving you the opportunity to say yay or nay. But you're refusing. The two of swords. There's some sort of denial here. But see, what you're actively denying is the fact that whatever it is you're involved with right now, whether that be an actual relationship or some type of cycle uh, associated with relationships maybe, you're not receiving the fruits of the labor that you desire. You're just not. And for some of you here, I want to say it's not even possible. And if that's the case, it feels like if it's not even possible for you to receive what it is that you want here, then what is it that you truly want, Libra? The hermit. What is it that you truly want? What does your light say? What does your heart say? What does your energy say? The high priestess. Higher self, awareness, higher awareness coming through saying, honor yourself, Libra, queen of pentacles. Honor your fertility, honor your abundance, honor what it is you bring to the table. You are free to do and receive exactly what it is that you want in life. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. With that said, then, two of wands also is at the bottom of the deck. That is... That is the main minor arcana version of the choice that is represented here by the lovers. So the lovers is representing, and the two of wands is representing this choice. Yes, both of them are. But what the lovers is saying about it is, what is, what is in alignment, it, what, is, what would serve your highest good? And then the two of wands is saying, choosing the pathway forward, whether it is what is going to serve your highest good, what it is you're being guided towards to serve your highest good, or keeping with the status quo. Interesting. Okay, then. Let's look at the magician. Clarify the magician for Libra. Please, spirit, sun, moon, rising, and north node. Clarify the magician for, ooh, the ace of cups. Unconditional self-love. To the four of pentacles now reversed. Libra, I'm sorry, Virgo also got the four of pentacles. They got it upright. Okay. Uh, magician for Libra. Clarify the magician for Libra. Tell me that's the fool. Oh my God, look at this. Ten of Swords with the fool. Mm. Overall energy is Temperance Libra. Look, straight up and down, baby boo. Whatever it is you are being guided to manifest or bring to in, into your reality right now, number it does in fact serve your highest good. It will... It is coming from a sense of equil equilibrium or a, from a sense of desiring and or requiring greater harmony in your life. Remember, Libra, the question here is, 
Are you receiving the fruits of your, of, the, of your labor that you actually truly desire? I will say that maybe at one point in your life, whatever it is you're dealing with now was giving you that. But is it giving you that now? I'm going to go ahead and say the answer is no, because the seven of pentacles has come back out here, but now it's reversed. So clarifying this magician energy, first you have the ace of cups, which is representing or, or, or confirming or resembling the unconditional love that is here in the Empress. That is here saying to you, babe, you can have anything you want. You can create anything you want. No one here within the universal energies are going to tell you no. Of course, if it's not supposed, if you're not meant to have it, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, if you're not meant to go down that path, then okay, then the answer is no. But that, that's really like really the baseline here is you can literally have and or create anything that it is you want. The Ace of Cups is representing the unconditional love of self. Having a full cup of love for yourself that can then overflow and you can pour it onto others. But it is encouragement for you to let go of four of pentacles reversed. Let go of whatever it is you are standing on or whatever it is you've been holding on to for whatever given reason and allow that situation to come to an end. The Ten of Swords has come back out for you here, Libra, but this time it's upright. Whereas last time it was reversed and I understand, yes, I understand that that was partially because of the nature of how I was shuffling the deck at that time when, it, when those cards came out. But I took it for a reason because that 10 of swords when it was reversed felt like a never ending situation. But the situation is in fact, or has been never ending because you're still holding on to it and you are needing to release it in order to bring the situation to an end, four of pentacles reversed, 10 of swords upright, and in order for you to step out in your new journey or take a leap of faith, the fool. And whatever this leap of faith is here for you, Libra, you are absolutely being encouraged by the universe, by the high God source creator, by your higher self to engage with it, to embark upon it, to take that step in that new direction. Okay. So then finally, let's clarify this seven of wands here for you. Now, in the beginning of the session, I was saying this seven of wands felt like you standing up for yourself. But now, as I've been talking through this energy for you, this Seven of Wands also feels like you standing up for the status quo. But okay. Clarify the Seven of Wands for Libra, please, Spirit. First card you have is the Ten of Cups. Okay. All right. That's not... Mm. Seven of Wands, please. Mmm, but the Four of Cups. Seven of Wands, please. Oh, well, would you look at that, Libra? There's the five of wands, okay? And that makes perfect sense. Falls right into alignment why I saw that 10 of cups and was like, ooh, wait, that might not be a good thing. Because the, the 10 of cups, yes, can represent, um, I, I know there are these two cards here, I'll get to those in a second. The 10 of cups can represent ultimate emotional fulfillment. Absolutely, 10 of cups is one of the best cards in the deck depending on the circumstances we're speaking of. Here, in relation to what the Seven of Wands represents here for you, Libra, in terms of needing to stand up for yourself or, or stand your ground, this is exactly what I was saying about how some there may be some people, it's the people around you and maybe their desires and wishes that are having such a heavy effect on you that's making it hard for you to decide what it is you want to move forward with. The Ten of Cups absolutely represents that energies sometimes or those energies, excuse me, sometimes. Because the 10 of cups can be seen as like the 12th house type of energies, very Piscean. The 10 of cups deals with not just your ultimate emotional fulfillment, but also sometimes, or quite often, the emotional desires and fulfillment of the people around you, of your family, of your community. And sometimes an individual I'll go ahead and say, especially a Libran in terms of this situation, can get lost in the sauce of all of that. Why? Because Libra, you desire, or one of your main focal points is finding balance and harmony between, between, the, in, with, between people. Whether it's just you and someone else, or you and a few other people, or you and a great old collective, right? This is what's tripping you up. What you're needing to do, Libra, is define yourself or define your reality for who you are. But I am hearing define yourself. 
and stand your ground, Seven of Wands, against the individuals that may not necessarily be in alignment with that Ten of Cups. That doesn't mean that you can't serve those individuals or you can't be there for those individuals, but you also have to take care of number one. And who is number one, Libra? You, Ace of Cups. With this, clarifying the Seven of Wands, with this Ten of Cups here, you have the Four of Cups. No longer wanting to be a part of the team, no longer wanting to be a part of the group, no longer resonating with this social energy or this social environment or whatever this is for you. And then we have the Five of Wands, the conflict. Yes, definitely internal conflict, but also external conflict. Differings of opinion. Y'all know what I like to say about opinions. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Eric. And what I like to say about opinions is opinions are, at, are like assholes. Everybody's got one. But that doesn't make someone else's opinion necessarily relevant to your life. And even if it doesn't make it, even if it turns out that it's not relevant to your life, it doesn't mean that opinion is not relevant for that same, still not relevant for that person. It's just not relevant for you. And thus, you have your last two cards here. Queen of Swords. Six of Swords. Overall energy. Ooh, we're back to that page of pentacles that came out while I was clarifying the Four of Swords for you. A new opportunity, a new start, liberation. I'm definitely hearing that for you too. I've been hearing it for just about everyone else. You shouldn't be any different, okay? Page of Pentacles. Starting that new reality, beginning that new process, taking that step in that new physical direction, committing to that new life or committing to whatever it is you are really, truly, I'm hearing, meant to be manifesting at this time. See what the Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords are saying is, yeah, you know what? You're right. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Doesn't make it wrong or bad, but you know what? That's not right for me. Queen of Swords represents you also, Libra. But see, Queen of Swords represents discernment as well. And this discernment here is necessary in terms of, quite frankly, you have your opinion and I have mine. And that's great. But that doesn't mean that your opinion needs to affect me and or my life. And therefore, I am being discerning. I'm putting up a boundary. I'm standing up for myself. I'm declaring who it is I am and what it is that I want and what it is I intend to do. I am standing my ground and I am moving forward. Six of Swords. I mean, if, if nothing else, Libra, what this reading or this message for you at this time is intending to, at its base, what it's intending to bring you towards is a sense of liberation. Freedom in, sense, in a sense of your thought process or way of thinking. You have the right to choose just like everyone else. But you also have a right to choose to allow other people's opinions or, or circumstances to dictate your own. That is, of course, your choice as well. But you're needing to stand up for yourself here. And even though you've got the Five of Wands to the Queen of Swords, which can seem pretty harsh, Right. In some cases, this Queen of Swords is so is so deliberate or so like harsh to say, I don't give a flying fuck what you think. I mean, like, not like I don't intend to disrespect you or anything, but fuck your opinion. <laughs> right. The Queen of Swords can be very harsh like that, but it doesn't need to be. Overall, at its baseline, it is just a matter of discernment. Drawing the line in the sand right here, cutting it to the quick. I want this, you want that, excellent. You go get that, I'm gonna go get this. There doesn't need to even be a fight about it. There doesn't even need to be an argument or animosity around it, you know what I'm saying? Of course, it might come across as harsh or cold or unfeeling. You may be seen as an ice queen. You, people may be calling you a bitch. So the fuck what, Libra? Liberation is at hand, <laughs> okay? Closing message, potential outcome for you, Libra. Eight of Wands, liberation, bam, right there. Clarity, the ability to speak your mind, to speak your truth, to speak clearly, honestly, and openly. Some of you are in the process of releasing yourself from a relationship in which you cannot be as authentic as you possibly could, where your freedom of speech or your freedom of expression is restricted. 
Hell to the motherfucking no. I am not going to tolerate that here on my channel. Okay? So if you're trying to be liberated in terms of that, baby, stick with me. I got you, boo. <laughs> okay? You have come to the right place. <laughs> I will say, spirit has led you to the right place. Okay, I will take that. Yes, closing message for my Libras, please. Two of Pentacles. Again, a choice. A choice. Ooh, wee! But the Seven of Swords. Underneath the Seven of Swords is the Knight of Wands to the fuck. Mm. So there seems to be, uh, some of you may actually be moving forward in a way that could actually be leaving some people behind, and they don't like that. That's what I'm getting here. Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands, Five of Cups, Temperance, back to Temperance. Okay, so the Seven of Swords here is representing deceptive, deceptiveness or deception. I'm hearing, again, your right to choose. There is something here that is causing you to waffle, that's causing you to go back and forth. Two of Pentacles. One second you want it, one second you believe in it, one second it feels good, and then the next second you're like, no, I can't have that for whatever given reason. But that, my friend, is an illusion. Seven of Swords. You are, in fact lying to yourself or being deceived and, uh, and subsequently lying even more to yourself in terms of the fact that the way you want, the way you want to move forward, what it is you feel passionate about at this time, how you, what's driving you at this time is selfish is actually what, actually what I'm picking up on. That is really the biggest thing of holding, what's holding you back. Feelings of selfishness. That is 100% an illusion. 100% an illusion. Because I don't really feel like you are being all that selfish. I feel like you're just trying to do what's best for you. You're trying to liberate yourself. And yes, there's going to be some cause for, for um, grievance, yeah, because maybe something will be lost, but ultimately it's bringing you greater balance, temperance. Don't allow any sort of pain, whether you're feeling this pain or whether you're perceiving this pain from someone else, don't let that stop you or make you think that what it is you're doing is wrong because it's not necessarily wrong, okay? You are meant to be free, eight of wands. Liberation is at hand, Libra, but you gotta stop waffling. You, stop, you gotta stop going back and forth, two of pentacles. You gotta stop allowing other people's thoughts, opinions, feelings, and ideas to influ influence and circumvent or infiltrate you and circumvent uh, and short circuit what it is you're trying to do for yourself, okay? Stand up for yourself, Libra. It's high time. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in, Libra. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you so much love. Uh, please make sure to smash that like, that like button for me. Subscribe. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Get engaged. If you'd like to get a personal reading, I, I am available for that. Check out the description box where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. And let me know you're interested. Yeah. But with that said, Libra, I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes. Excellent.